Hey guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University, and I'm going to explain Captain Marvel in about a minute. Carol Danvers' first appearance was in Marvel Super Heroes No. 13 in March of 1968. She was created by Roy Thomas and Jean Colon. She was reimagined and given superpowers in Miss Marvel No. 1 in January of 1977 by Archie Goodwin, John Buscema, Jerry Conway, and Jerry's then wife, Carla Conway. Later, Danvers would take the name Captain Marvel, to which she has been called ever since. Carol was created to be a strong female character who was always breaking barriers. Air Force Major, Head of Security for NASA, Writer, Magazine Editor, Spy, all the things that women were not supposed to be able to do back in the 60s and 70s. She was saved by Marvell of the Kree from the Psyche Magnetron, which replaced approximately 25% to half of her DNA with Kree DNA, granting her amazing superpowers. Carol has enhanced strength, allowing her to press 50 tons at resting. She is extremely durable, able to take a beating from creatures even stronger than herself for nearly an entire day before signs of wear begin to show. She can also fly under her own power, able to surpass Mach 6 with moderate effort. She can fire beams of light and concussive energy from her hands with enough energy to knock over beings significantly stronger than herself. She also possesses a seventh sense, which allows her to detect if there's an immediate danger to herself or her acquaintances, even if those friends are several miles away. Most impressive is her energy absorption ability. While she cannot absorb magic, she can absorb all spectrums of energy and redirect it to augment her strength and energy projection abilities. She's one of the most powerful heroes in the Marvel Universe, and that's Captain Marvel, in about a minute.